Welcome to your beginner friendly dumbbell only upper body workout. In today's workout, I am going to be walking you through each of these upper body exercises. So if you are a complete beginner, you have found your new home. This workout is a three part series. So you can also do the full body workout in the full leg workout in this playlist. Be sure to come back next week and try this workout again and focus on seeing if you can increase the repetitions that you're doing, increase the weight that you're using, or just work on improving your form. Let's go. the first movement we're going to be doing is a half kneeling shoulder press if it bothers your knees being on the floor like this you can modify this movement by sitting in a chair or on your couch or even putting a little cushion underneath your knee but i want you to have one knee forward in front of you your other knee flat on the ground you're going to have one hand on your hip or out by your side for balance and you're going to bring the dumbbell up to the top of your shoulder from here we're going to use our shoulder muscle to press that weight directly overhead so as you can see here from straight on at the top of this movement my wrist elbow and shoulder are all in one straight line you're going to inhale at the bottom of this movement and exhale at the very top.
are going to go into some side lateral raises. For this movement, you're gonna to wanna to use lighter weights than you did for your shoulder press. You're gonna stand with your feet shoulder width apart and hold two dumbbells in front of your body. Keep a slight bend in your elbows and your arms a little bit out in front of you as you pull your arms out to the side, almost as if you are a bird flapping your wings to fly away. Keeping this slight bend in the elbow will remove a little bit of the tension on your shoulder joint, so it's gonna make it much more comfortable. You're going to inhale at the bottom of this movement and then exhale at the very top and use that exhale to raise your arms even higher. I want you to make sure at the top of this movement that your elbow, wrist, and shoulder are all pretty much right in alignment. We 
are going to go into one of my favorite movements, a supported gorilla row. So you can use a dumbbell here. I have one dumbbell propped up and I'm using that as my place to kind of hold my position. You can also use something like a chair or something else. You're going to have your feet shoulder width apart and keep your arm with the dumbbell in it nice and long. From here, you're going to exhale as you bring that dumbbell back towards your hip crease. I want you to think of almost as if you're reaching your hand back to your hip crease towards your pocket. This is gonna target so much more of your back and less of your biceps. Yeah, her love can make a person hazy. Praying she won't break me down.
We're going to start targeting our shoulders and some of our chest with a dumbbell front raise. You're going to hold the dumbbell in front of your hips with one hand on each side of the dumbbell. From here, you're going to keep a slight bend in the elbows and raise the dumbbell up to collarbone height. You should start to feel this in your shoulders and a little bit in your chest.
it's time to put in some work with our biceps. Grab a lighter set of dumbbells and have your palms facing each other. What we're gonna do is called a hammer curl. And with this movement, you're going to bring the head of the dumbbell up towards your shoulder. I want you to think of keeping your elbows nice and close to your body and avoid swinging your body to try and get the dumbbells up. You just wanna focus on pulling with that bicep muscle and slowly lowering on the way down.
are gonna finish this workout off with targeting our triceps, the back of our arms. We're gonna do this with some overhead dumbbell extension. So you're gonna take a seat in a chair, on a bench, on the floor, and you're gonna hold one head of the dumbbell with both hands. You're gonna press this weight up over your head, and then once it's over your head, you are going to bend your elbows so you should feel a good stretch on the back of your tricep and lower the dumbbell behind your head. 